Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part six of my tutorial on how to create a WordPress featured content slider plugin. Boy, that's long. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to allow people to designate what they want their featured image to be, and this is the tool whenever it's going to be finished. And at this point in time, what I need to do is actually go through and figure out how to grab the title for each of the posts, the excerpt, the permalink, or the link to the actual article, as well as how to crop and shrink down this big giant image into these little tiny thumbnails. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do all of those different things. And temporarily, where all this is gonna show up is in the meta box that I created in the previous tutorial. If you haven't seen those, definitely watch them. So what's one of the first things I need to know how to do to create this? Well, I need to know how many actual featured images or featured articles there are. So I'm gonna go through and code all that. So I'm gonna open up Text Wrangler. So I'm going to the function that is actually puts this meta box here on inside of WordPress. And I'm gonna start putting some custom information in there. Again, this is gonna be temporary. So if I wanna retrieve the total number of currently featured posts, how do I do that? Well, I'm going to go post featured and create a variable and I'm going to call a function in WordPress called get term by and I'm going to say get term by and I have to put in name followed by featured which is the category a post must be in to show up in the featured content slider at all. Put category in the end there and then after I do that I want to go echo and I'm going to type in featured posts and then follow that with posts featured, a dash in this bracket, followed by count, which is gonna return the number of posts that are in the featured category. And if I file save that, you can see now it says featured posts, and then it's followed by one, because I only have one post currently that is in the featured category. That's gonna be very useful because I'm not gonna create the featured content tool if there isn't at least five of these guys. So that's something that I definitely need to know. So let's get back over here and code some more. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna issue a custom query that's going to output the titles, the excerpts, and a whole bunch of other things. And to do this, I need to hijack the WP query object. However, if I wanna issue any queries in the future, I'm going to need this guy to remain intact. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a temporary holding cell for this guy. And that's how you do that. And then I'm gonna go WP query, and I'm gonna set that to null. And this is just a requirement of WordPress. And I'm gonna scroll up here so you can see this better on the screen. Then I'm gonna create a new WP query object. So I'm gonna go query is equal to new and WP query. And this allows me to query WordPress and get any type of information that I want. Now, if I want to issue a query that returns, say, all of the posts that are currently inside of the featured category, what I can do, because I have that count up here, I'm actually going to copy this and just go WP query. And this is how you issue a query. You can think of this like accessing a database post per page. And I'm going to set this to the maximum by putting that guy inside of there period, dot, then I'm going to say, and category name is equal to featured. Close that off. Now what I can do is cycle through all of the results that came back positive. And how you do that is go while WP query dash bracket have posts that came back positive for the query that I gave it. WP query, get that post. And let's say I want to output the title. Well, all I do is type in the title and it will output it. And I'm actually going to close off the while loop just so we can see what exactly we're getting here. And then I'm also going to reset WP query back to its original form. Again, just so it can be used if there are queries issued anywhere else on the screen. We're sort of temporarily hijacking this guy. And then we're going to give it back its original results or its original form by calling WP temp query. See, everything's all nice and neat. If we file save that, you can see that it shot out elephant on the screen. So it shot out the only title that exists for the posts that are currently in here and inside of the featured category. Jump back over into Text Wrangler and let's start grabbing all the other things we need. So we needed the title, we needed the thumbnail, the excerpts. I'm gonna come up here, put a break statement. So everything's divided real nice, we can see it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retrieve the excerpt, TT long excerpt is equal to, and if you want to receive the excerpt and save it to a variable to do some work on it, what you do is call get the excerpt. If you called the excerpt, it would print the excerpt out on the screen. That's not what you want to do. And then I'm going to create another variable called NTT short excerpt, and I'm going to call the substring function. And there's some built-in WordPress functions for shrinking the excerpt, but they have to be inside of the theme, and I don't want it that way. I want it to work this way. So let's say I want to grab the first through the 330th character from that guy. And then I want to echo out the screen, NTT short excerpt. 
That's what substring does. Zero is the first character, so I want the zero character the whole way to the 330th character. That's what it does. It's going to trim that guy down. And we'll throw in a break statement at the end here. File save. And you can see there's the excerpt that I just grabbed from inside of WordPress for that post. And we'll keep going here and get some more stuff. If I want the permalink to print out the screen, just call the permalink function inside of WordPress, and it'll automatically do that for me. And let's throw the break statement in there. Just keep it neat. File save. And there is the link to the actual article. So real quickly here, I've cut into a lot of things. I got the title, got the excerpt, got this. Now I need to get the thumbnail. Sounds like it's gonna be complicated, and it will be a little bit complicated. Let's scroll up though. And this is how I actually program. I sort of like baby step my way through everything. So what I'm gonna do first, before I jump right in there and grab that featured content, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find the location for it, just to make sure I have it. Featured image is equal to, and how you get that. Remember I saved the URL for the featured content right here. So this is metadata. I wanna go and get this metadata. How do I do that? Jump over here, I'm gonna call get post post meta. That's what I'm doing. I'm saying I want get the post meta and then post dash ID. This is going to be for the current post that we're working through here. This little guy right here, I'm sort of like creating an artificial loop. It's going to give me that URL that I need. MBE image is the name of it. True. And then I want to echo this out the screen. Grab this guy right here. Copy file save. And you can see there, it just shot out the featured image that I have saved inside of here. So now we can start working around with some other things. Just to show you this, I'm going to output the directory path for my actual plugin because this is something else I'm going to need to do or need for you to understand. And all you do is call plugin, D-I-R, path. And then if you want the directory path for your plugin, you use the shortcut underline underline file underline underline, which is a reference to your actual plugin file. And let's just copy that. And while I'm here, let's also echo out the screen, the theme directory. You just go bin plug info, template, directory, and file save it. Now you're gonna be able to see all the different things you're looking for here, or we're gonna be working for. Okay, so we got the actual location of the file or the permalink or the URL to the post. Then right here, we have our featured image, which is stored in metadata. This is the plugin directory for our plugin that we're working with, and this is the directory or the location for our current theme. So that's how you get all those different things. So now what I need to do is actually shrink that featured content image down and crop it so that it looks real nice. And I'm gonna show it inside here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use something called Tim Thumb. And I provide link to all this code in the underbar. So basically what you want to do inside of your theme is you want to create a folder called Tim Thumb. And then inside of that guy, you want to create a folder called Cache. And then you just want to paste the Tim Thumb script inside of that folder. And remember, this is inside of your theme. So if we jump out, see themes, default, that's the theme I'm using currently. And then we're gonna to wanna to create this folder and then put all this information inside of there. Then you're gonna to have to change mod on cache and Tim Thumb to 777. And if you're watching a tutorial that is this complicated, I would suppose you know how to change permissions on files and folders, so I won't get into that. So now that we have the Tim Thumb script inside of there, which is going to trim this down, I'm going to temporarily close off the PHP code. So make sure you do that. Make sure there's no white space before it, because remember WordPress hates that. Then I'm gonna create a div class is equal to, and I'm going to call it featured. This actually doesn't even matter. I'm going to put featured thumb inside of there, just so it's inside of a div. I don't know why. A lot of things I do are just habit. Then what I need to do is link to the featured image and then crop it using the Tim Thumb script. Image source is equal to, quote, and I'm going to have to jump in here to PHP. And what am I going to do? Blog info, template directory, which you saw what that was before. That's the themes directory. And then close off the PHP. And then to access that folder, Tim Thumb, forward slash Tim Thumb dot PHP, question mark. Then I'm going to go source is equal to PHP. And I'm going to echo out the screen, NTT featured image. So that's the great big giant image. And then close off the PHP again. And then let's say I want this to be 48 by 48. So I'm going to go and H is equal to 48 and width is equal to 48. And if you want this to be cropped, Again, this is using that script. You go CC is equal to one. And that's normally all I ever do with Tim Thumb. Then we're gonna go alt equal to PHP. I wanna give it the title of the post as the alt text, close off PHP. Width is equal to 48. Height is equal to 48. Don't forget to close off that quote right there. 
forward slash, close that guy off, and then we have to jump back down here, turn PHP back on, file save it, and there is our little thumbnail of our elephant. So now we know how to gather and get every single thing that we need for this guy right here. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put all this together and finish all this up. Leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Otherwise, till next time.